There are so many conditions in medicine where you get tissue from one organ, but normally in a different organ. Not that uncommon. There are instances in gastroenterology where we see this, like pancreas rest, where you get pancreas tissue inside the stomach, inlet patch, where we get stomach tissue in the esophagus. So this is not that uncommon. But the most perplexing one of all this is endometriosis. As you know, endometrium is the inner lining of the uterus. Sometimes you get endometrial tissue outside the uterus. That's called endometriosis. That causes a lot of gynecological symptoms as we know. But did you know that they can cause GI symptoms as well? Yes, this tissue can occur anywhere. It can sometimes notoriously affect the intestines, predominantly the large intestine. So many times these patients have GI symptoms, abdominal bloating, constipation, sometimes diarrhea, and most notoriously, even though rare, actual bleeding. And the most striking part, this happens in a cyclical manner. So whenever a female patient comes to me with symptoms and they say this happens always in cycles, like I get these symptoms once a month, endometriosis is one thing which you don't want to miss. Even if you do a colonoscopy for these patients and if you actually see the endometriosis tissue, from inside, they can have a variety of presentation. Sometimes they look just like a small bump, but sometimes they can even mimic a polyp or sometimes even a cancer when you do a colonoscopy. But the biopsy always comes to the rescue and gives us a diagnosis, which obviously is a benign condition and needs treatment. Obviously endometriosis treatment is beyond my scope being a gastroenterologist, but I thought this was a very interesting information to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.